Well, welcome to day two of our 40 days of Teshuvah, which is turning in repentance. So tonight's is kind of easy since it's the evening before Shabbat. But, you know, if we go all the way back to Genesis, first chapter, there's this funny little thing that says the evening and the morning were the first day. And the evening and the morning were the second day. And the evening and the morning were the third day. So, and so on and so on and so on. So God's day starts in the evening. So Friday evening starts Shabbat. In case you've ever wondered, that's where it came from. Genesis. There's another little thing. Um, you know, there's these Ten Commandments. And we like to say, you know, that our American law is based on our Ten, on the Ten Commandments. And um, the funny thing about that, all but four, or the fourth one, you know, I am the Lord your God. In the Hebrew, that's the first commandment, is to acknowledge that I am the Lord God who brought you out of Egypt, who brought you out of the world, who brought you out of slavery, who brought you out of sin. I loved you before you even knew I existed. Oh, well, hello, Jasper. There's a lot of animals in this house. We obey one and two and three. But somehow, and then we go skip four, and then we go to five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. But somehow, to remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy, six days shall you labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Lord thy God. Isn't it funny how we choose which part of the law has been done away with and which part hasn't? Well, I'll tell you what. None of it's been done away with. Until every jot and tittle of what is written in the prophets and the Torah has been accomplished, none of the law will be done away with. Those are Jesus's words when he walked this earth as a human being. So look it up. So tonight starts Shabbat. In the Hebrew, there are a lot of blessings that happen on um, Shabbat. And the Hebrew, most all of them start, Baruch Hata Adonai Eloheinu Melecha Olam. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe. There's a blessing over candles, and we're commanded to be the light of the world. That's why we light the candles. And there's two of them, remember and observe. We'll get into that later. And maybe one Shabbat will actually have a Shabbat on here for part of Teshuvah. And then there's a blessing for the wine. And then there's a blessing for the bread. It's a beautiful way to set apart the Sabbath from the rest of the week. And you know, sanctification is setting apart. And the word kadosh in Hebrew is the same. Set apart, sanctified, holy. So anyway, the Sabbath day, the seventh day of the week, is to be holy. It's God's. It's not Jewish. It's not, uh, I think there's now Seventh-day Baptist and there's the Seventh-day Adventist. And no, they didn't come up with it. God did. From the very beginning. When he created. It was already established. It was already in his plan. So, if we're going to be turning to God, why don't we... Do it his way instead of our own way. And why do we say, oh, it got changed here and so-and-so in like 300, you know, at the Nicaea Council. Well, the Nicaea Council was a council of men. I'd rather do what God says. Maybe it's time that we open up the Bibles and start reading and doing what he says. Hmm. Shabbat Shalom. See you next time.